changing the transaxle fluid or the hydraulic fluid on a 455 or a 425 or 445. Uh, you're going to need a couple things. You will need approximately two gallons. I just stacked all my low viscosity high guard up there. Um, you will need two gallons of low viscosity high guard. You will need an AM116156 oil filter. A 17 millimeter wrench, which is right there, and obviously a tub to put all of the fluid in. Now the first thing I do is I honestly check the fluid to make sure it's full first. Now I've already done this, and so I know it's full. Um, so you just pull it out, check the dipstick. Um, in this particular case, how the machine's sitting, because it's sitting at a little bit of an angle back towards me, it looks a little over full, but I checked it before I actually started it up and brought it out here. What I then do is I take and I leave uh, the dipstick off to the side there to allow the crankcase to vent. Now what I'm going to do to drain the entire system, what you need to do is you've got a drain plug right here. This is a 17 millimeter uh, bolt that's on there. And generally it's going to take some force. Um, at which point I should probably put the camera down before I break something. It is going to take some force to break it loose. That's very common. But I need a need to get a little better position. So let me break it loose and then we'll come back and I'll show you, show you draining. All right. So now that I have uh, given myself a workout, I have that loose. So now what I'm gonna do is bring the tray into there. Now, one of the reasons that I have this parked in the shop, like this machine parked in the shop like that, like it is on a slight incline, you can't see it, but it is on a very slight incline, it's because the drain plug is in the back and all of the fluid will rotate to the back of the transaxle. So what I'm gonna do, and also one of the things that I've learned over time is that when you do this, the fluid is actually gonna come shooting out of there. Kind of like when you change oil on some vehicles now if they don't have the drain plug pointed straight down. So the nut's now out and we'll just go ahead and pull the plug and let it drain. Now you can see, I don't necessarily think the oil is in too bad a shape. Um, it's still relatively uh, clear. It doesn't look burnt or anything, which is nice. But at the same time, looking at the filter, uh, the filter looks original to the machine. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit here and drain for 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna go off and do some other things and then we'll come back and uh, seal this up and we'll go change the filter. All right, so we're gonna take this filter off right here um, to change it. Now, I fortunately, when I bought this new oil drop pan, drip pan, uh, it is long enough to fit all the way into the transaxle. What I'm going to do to loosen the filter up, so I'm going to go ahead and move it back. And, oops, in here. And like I said, I think this filter is original, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. Now that I've loosened that up, I'll pull it back forward, and I'll just spin it off. That looks lovely. And I'm gonna let that sit and drain as well. All right, I've gone ahead and cleaned off. I've let it drip for about five minutes and I've gone ahead and cleaned off uh, the mounting surface. I've also gone ahead and put a thin layer of oil on the new filter. And so I'm gonna go ahead and slide the new filter on. Just needs to be hand tight. 
can see that I wrote the date and then the oil on there. And I'm just going to go ahead turn a little, another eighth of a turn or so. Call it good. That way we can get it off there. So for April of 2019, Lovis High Guard and the hour meter is 344 hours. Obviously, if I replace the hour meter, like I, I do have the new uh, dash cluster, we're going to have to do something about that, but that's what it is right now. So now we can go ahead and uh, button up the, the drain hole and the drain plug and uh, get it filled back up. All right, we'll get the drain plug put back in there. Pretty simple procedure. Just don't want to drip all over the floor. I say this is a simple procedure and then I struggle putting the stupid bolt back in. There we go. Okay. Now I can push out the rest of the way out of the way. Now in terms of tightening, does this doesn't necessarily have to be all that tight. It's not like it's going to come leaking out. So just, you know, hand tighter. So, uh -huh. so that's it for that part. Now we can add our two gallons of high guard. All right, getting ready to add the hydro hydraulic fluid back in there. Um, so what you can do on most machines, uh, at least newer machines, it tells you uh, how much you need. I said two gallons earlier, but actually if you look, transax oil, two wheel steering needs um, seven quarts. So not quite. You can see that seven quarts. Um, so not quite the two gallons that I thought. So what we're going to do, um, I, I buy my trans, I buy all my hydraulic fluid in five gallon buckets. Um, but I keep a gallon, couple of gallon jugs around, uh, mostly just to make my life easier. So seven quarts, there's two and a half quarts in this. So I'm going to go ahead and actually add, uh, fill it up. Actually, no, I'm just going to dump what's in here in here and we'll go from there because most likely if I put another gallon in there after if I fill this jug up again with another gallon, the residual fluid in the system will probably be OK and uh, it'll be full. So what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and take the lid off. We've got a nice clean funnel and we'll pour it in. See how much how big of a mess we can make. Now one nice thing about the, the 425s, um, the transaxle on these machines fill, fill a lot faster than the transaxles on the 318 and 400 series. Um, the 420, 430, 318, that, those series tractors, absolute royal pain to uh, fill up. So I'm dripping a little bit, so this is gonna cost, I need two hands to do this. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and fill her up. All right, got it all filled up. Um, actually, I finished that, finished the remaining of that five gallon bucket right there. I had just under, maybe just over a gallon left to put in the in the jug. Um, so I can take that to the dealer and get it refilled. Uh, at least that's what my dealer will allow me to refill the five gallon jugs. Um, so it is full, just like it should be. So I can't check it with one hand, but um, I have already started the machine up, driven it forward and backwards, whatnot. So we are good to go there. Now, one thing I've already mentioned uh, is that I don't think that this uh, filter has been changed. And the reason I don't think this filter has been changed, let me get a little brake cleaner right here, is because when you look at the filter, we're just going to walk over here. So here's the filter. Um, AM116156 filter that I just put on there. But if we turn it over, hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. This filter is very rusty. And if you can see, there's a two-legged deer emblem. Um, so those emblems went out of style in uh, 2000 when deer switched to um, the four-leg or the leaping upward deer. Um, so uh, I don't think that this filter's ever been changed on this tractor, uh, but with 343 hours on it, um, I don't think that's necessarily a problem. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, start her up. Let me clean everything off of it. 
we'll go ahead and start her up and uh, you know at least drive it back and forth make sure it drives still get all the crap off of it I really need to clean the shop seat adjusted forward so let's crank her up figures anyway um, the battery still cable is still loose oh the grill's not on so we can go ahead and fix that the reason I still have the battery cable loose is I'm gonna re I'm gonna inspect everything with the batteries or uh, the battery and so try this again All right, well, that's it for that one. Uh, clearly, next thing I gotta do is the battery cables. So, I'll work on that, uh, but it does run and drive. I have driven it already. Um, so, thanks for watching.